In this video, I would like to make a quick comparison between ASRock B560 Pro 4 versus B550 Pro 4. B560 chipset support memory overclock. This motherboard also support one NVMe Gen 4 and one PCIe Gen 4. B550 chipset support memory and processor overclocking. It also have one NVMe Gen 4 and one PCIe Gen 4. The design is look similar. B560 Pro 4 has 10 power pace. It also has 2 VRM heatsink. While B550 Pro 4 has 8 power base and it only has one large main VRM headsink. If you compare both headsink, the main VRM headsink in B550 is bigger than B560. B560 M Pro 4 has USB-C front panel. It also has one M2 Gen 4 and one PCIe Gen 4, but only for 11th Gen processor. B550M Pro 4 doesn't have any USB-C front panel. But it still has one NVMe Gen 4 and one PCIe Gen 4. Only for Zen 2 and Zen 3 processor. B550M doesn't have much I.O. in back panel. It doesn't have any USB-C port on it. B550 M Pro 4 has more I.O. at the back. It has one USB-C, more USB 3, and more display input. Let's talk about the price. B560 and B550 M Pro 4, both of them has similar price. The Wi-Fi model is a little bit more expensive. The main problem now is the processor. Which one is the best value for the EMD or Intel build? The price of the EMD processor is keep rising, and is very rare to find. While Intel keep cutting their processor price, and it's available anywhere. The main advantage of EMD build is you can overclock the processor. Of course, you need to buy better cooler for overclocking. However, there is a power limit that motherboard can handle. However, you don't really need overclock the processor. 
you can see many benchmark on internet, 10400F is better than non-overclock 3600. And you need overclock 3600 to match 10400F. You just need bypass power limit for Intel processor, especially if you use Core i7 or Core i9. That's all the quick comparison between B560 and B550 M Pro 4. Thanks for watching.